What's good, everybody, and welcome back to s and with me, A.B. Now, check it out. You guys read that title. You seen that thumbnail. You know what we're doing. Listen, we're just going to level up the everyday normal crab cakes, but we're going to go ahead and make it with these lobster tails. Super easy. I'm not going to over talk it. We finna get into these ingredients, and let's get it. As you see, not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So look, I'm using the trio of the bell peppers, right? The yellow, red, and green. If you guys only have green, that's fine. If you only have two, that's fine. But for me, I like the color and then make the crab cakes pop, let alone, you know, with the, uh, with the taste, right? So back here, we got W sauce. And then right here, we got some gray poupon. This is the grainy gray poupon, right? This Dijon mustard, this is the one you wanna use. I like that. That has like a little bit more of a bite to it to me. We got garlic powder paprika we got an egg then we got mayo now look i elected to show these now these are the lobster tails now these are a little bit on the small side that's why i'm using two but we're gonna cut these we're gonna saute them and give them a little head start put a little butter and a little bit of this uh branch and vine which one are we using today this the scallion this right here will work fine scallion you can use a uh, green onion whatever you would like but you want to use like an infused because listen you want it to be infused and i'm gonna tell you why Listen, we trying to like level up because everybody in their mama makes, uh, we all make, you know, what, crab cakes, right? This right here, we gonna send them over the top. We gonna use a little bit different ingredients. You know what I mean? All the way down to when I talked about using this grainy, you know, gray poupon. That right there, this, and then listen, we gonna level up by this right here. If you guys can see, that's crab claw meat. This is one pound. This right here, real nice. And then we always gonna have cracked, uh, fresh black pepper. And for the salt, Look, I'm gonna be using this branch and vine. Look, this right now is my new go-to. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, like even Trump, when I had said something about the bacon uh, sea salt. This right here, I think this is the most flavorful and the best tasting to my palate. I recommend, hey, no house should be without it, just like no house should be without a cell phone. Hey, with that being said, I'm not gonna over talk it and check it out, we finna get it. Okay, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and just start by cutting down my lobster, right? For me, there's no, no need for me to cut them fancy or nothing like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this over the top. I put my knife down this way, come over the top with a sharp blade. And what we do is we just cut it all the way down. I've already, you know, pulled these two out of these tails, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and go like this. Just so you guys can see. You guys can do this part any kind of way that you like. We just pull it out. That's some good meat right there. You see this? You guys want to save this. Cause look, I got a video coming out real soon. I know you guys are thinking right now, yeah, that's a great idea. We'll save them for some stock. But I got something else for you too. We're going to do stock and we're going to do a big, I got a question mark because I ain't going to tell everybody what it is. So right now, when you're peeling your shrimp, you got your lobster tails and stuff like that, start saving them, folks. Put this in the freezer and then we're going to see this again real soon. Okay, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and dice down my red you know, bell pepper, right? So I'll just cut that down just like that. We'll do that. You don't need a whole lot. Probably this right here do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down. But here's the thing. When I dice them, I'm gonna dice them small, y'all. We wanna dice them, you know, a little bit more on the fine side. So whatever you have left, we'll just take it. Like this right here be good. We don't wanna put a whole lot in there, right? So we'll just use these. I'm getting ready to dice them. I'll show you the size. I'm gonna put these in a Ziploc bag and put these in the refrigerator. When I started my channel, man, you wanna talk about learning things the wrong way. I used to try to cut on top of here like that, right? You wanna put the skin side down and you wanna cut. It stops the blade from moving. Just a little pro tip. So look, we're just gonna cut these just like this. It's not really, really big, you know what I mean? Uh, some of these are, I'm not the world's greatest at uh, dicing, but look, I like them to be a little bit on the smaller side, right? So now, wanna get yourself a bowl, right? We got a bowl. What I'm gonna do is, I guess I'm gonna start with, hey, let's just do it this way. Let's crack this egg. And I'll sit this out in front so you guys can see, right? So we got our egg. Now I'm gonna go with our grainy Dijon. And then listen, you wanna get a, a spasta, right? Reason being, you don't wanna leave nothing in there. So we'll do it like that. We'll just add all of our rest of our ingredients, just like you see. You just want to get yourself a whisk and you just want to whisk all this together. You can see how smooth and creamy it gets. You can see all of the dry ingredients start to relax. And this right here is where we're going to get a lot of that flavor, right? So we got that. Now, 
I'm gonna level it up now. Get some of this branching rod and this, this outer, outer wood. And we just gonna put just two, you know, just pinches of this in here. Believe me, trust me when I tell you, it go a long way. Now, it's a couple of ingredients that I didn't show in the very beginning, right? This was out, but you guys didn't hear me say nothing about it. Look, this is the hot sauce. You guys can add this to it. And then I didn't have this out either. These are breadcrumbs, right? These are an Italian breadcrumbs. You guys can use plain Parmesan. You can go ahead and get yourself some saltine crackers like I did in one of my uh, past videos. Or if you guys can find, uh, listen to this, Rich make flavored, you know, crackers, right? You can get those, crush those up. Hey, anything you want to do, that right there is a binder that's what's going to make the patty, you know, keep its form, and that's what we're going to use, right? But right now, for us, we're going to go ahead and use this. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and add a little bit of this hot sauce. Now, it's up to you how much you want to put in there. You guys been following me for a minute, you know I don't really do that hot sauce like that. So that right there looks like that's enough for me. Now, we're going to crack some of this pepper, put that down. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and just add uh, just a little bit of the red. A little bit of the yellow, you know, in equal parts, and a little bit of the green. And I know y'all out there looking at my apron right now. Hey, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below and let me know what's your team. Represent your state, folks. Now we're getting ready to work with this. Check it out. We got claw meat. This right here. Ooh wee! Look at that. Now is the time to just go ahead and just open this up just like this. These pieces right here is what I want to just cut down just a little bit. You know, some of these, but the rest of this right here, check this out. We'll just open it up, take some of these. Oh man, this is gonna make some good meat. We'll just crumple this, just like you see. Any of the big pieces we'll take out. These are our claws, right? We're gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna put this here, we bring in our our pan up to temp. I'm taking my lobster. Look, this is the tail. And what I'm doing is I'm just drying it off. You know what I mean? Taking it off the ice that I had it sitting on. And what we're going to do is just pat this dry. Now, we want to grab a little olive oil. Again, I'm using scall scallion. You guys can add a little butter on here too, but I don't think I'm going to add no butter this time. Just the infused olive oil will be just enough flavor. Now we got this done. Go ahead and get those dry. Let me get my blade. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut these down. I'm gonna come back with this alderwood smoked sea salt, right? And just add a little bit of this on here, just like you see. I'm telling you, you wanna talk about just a major level up, folks. This is it right here. I can feel my heat. And look, we wanna be quick with it. I'm gonna go ahead and just add it, right? I'm using a low, listen, it's low. It might sound like it's high, but it's low, folks. Now this process right here only takes about one and about a minute and a half. That's all we need. You just want to just soak up some of that infused fuse olive oil and just to cook up just a little bit. Now when I talk about the fold method, you just want to take it. And you just, instead of beating up the crab, right, we just want to roll it over just like you see. This one I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of this parsley, you know, because I like the taste of it. And I like to see it in there too. Now it's time to add the breadcrumbs. Now, a little bit at a time, folks. This right here is what's going to form them and keep everything together. You'll see it start to thicken up as the breadcrumbs. What they do is they start picking up the paste and start sticking and becoming more like paste. Then when we form them patties, you know, you guys are getting it. Now that I like the consistency of my meat, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. Now you can see, I just went in and took a small pan and I, you know, lined it with some uh, foil, right? Now I'm gonna spread just so nothing sticks, you know? I got it, it ain't supposed to stick, but we don't want it. Now, wanna go in here, you want to get one of these. Now you make them as big as you would like, right? I can tell you, you can look at them right now and you can see, you can see the meat, you can see your veggies, all of that, right? So I just roll them around like this and this is good for me, right? You want them to be about that size, uh, maybe a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? I like to know, 
I got a real patty. So this right here, let do it for me, right? See that right there? I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm just gonna set it right there. Now we're gonna make, we're gonna attempt to make some more about the same size. You guys seen I made the balls, right? So the reason I left them like that, because we're gonna press them. I did this one already, but somebody behind the camera said, hey, I might want to show that, which they were absolutely right. All I did was I got my, I get myself a spatula, no holes in it, no grooves in it, right? I sprayed it so that nothing would stick to it. And then here, we just take it, put this over the top, and we just mash it down just like that. You can put them in the freezer if you got a chance to, if you can only stay, keep them in there for about 30 minutes, but you don't want to freeze them, right? You just want to go ahead. For me, I like to put them in the freezer or the refrigerator. I have no preference. You know what I mean? But I like to put them in there. If I'm going to put them in the freezer, no longer than 30 minutes. You see that? So these are done. I know your mouth is watering. I'm going to put these in and I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Just pulled these out of the refrigerator. It's been 30 minutes, right? These are ready. Look, I got some heat. I got a flame underneath that. Got a medium high flame. I'm going to go ahead and just add some of this, you know, infused olive oil, the scallion infused. We'll put that in there. If you guys would like, you can use butter or you can do a combination. But I like this aroma right here that I'm smelling. This right here is nice. So once this comes up to temp, once I get my oil right, I'll know. And then I'll just set these in there and then we just gonna cook them. Everything is up to temp. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take these and I'm just gonna lay it down just like this. Oh yeah. Look at that folks. So now we take them like this. And look at that golden brown color right there. You can see right here, you see that crust on there? I'm liking that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take them off, turn off the flame. You can see they're not sticking. We'll go ahead and grab it like this. This is trying to tear. And we'll just go ahead and add this one onto the plate, just like this. I can always sprinkle a little bit of this on top. You know what I mean? For me, folks, because I got it. You guys are about to get it. Put a little bit of that smoked sea salt. Just a little bit on the top. That right there, just enough so I can get it. And this right here is just a little ramelade sauce that I just put together myself. You guys can serve this with tartar sauce or whatever else you would like to do. But look, so that I don't over talk it, I'm finna hurry up and, you know, so I can quit and all of that. Check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one time. This one right here looked the best to me. Loving that little crust right, oh man. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just take it like this. Let's just, hey, you know what? I'm gonna try to cut around this right here because I got a big piece of lobster right there. Oh yeah. The lobster was cooked just right. Took it off before it was overly cooked. Put this in here, everything bonded together. I got some of them veggies, but most of all, there's something about when you put it in your mouth and you inhale, you can taste that. You can taste this sea salt right here too. So you guys come on down, come see me, make a reservation for two. I'll put these out. I'm only gonna be charging you guys $17.95, you know, for two of these big fat patties. You know what? I know it ain't fair, y'all. You know what I mean? I get to eat and do all that on camera. But hold up, I gotta clean my palate. These right here, look, I made them so big, they almost like a meal. You guys gotta try it. You know what? The lobster does it. The things that we do, we fry them. You know, we went in and cooked them in some uh, olive oil that's infused with, you know, scallion. We used the branch and vine, you know, the outer wood, smoked sea salt. That was good. You know, I made my own little ramelade sauce. You guys make it however you guys want to do it. Whatever you want to dip it in, I can tell you this, they still good with just straight up tartar sauce. Hey, with that being said, you guys try it. Let me know down in the description box below. Oh, one more thing I want to cover too. Listen, you can cook them a little longer, but you risk. If you use a little bit of a higher heat, you could put more of a crust on the bottom of it. Some people like to have theirs with a lot of crust. You know what I mean? But we want to make sure we don't cook it all the way through and dry it out. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, right? Listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I'm gonna eat the rest of this right here. There's some people behind the camera and they got their lips. I see people making the gestures. They ready to eat and we out. Peace.